Well, hello, lovely, lovely little calmlings. Now, in fairness, I may not have used the term calmlings in quite a while, so if you're like, Lucy, what is that? That is my little nickname for you guys, who very kindly watch the content. Uh, so yeah, little calmlings. Mm. Do we like? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, we today are in a new setting. <gasps> very exciting, very exciting. And I thought this would be a lovely opportunity for us to catch up, chill, and do our little our little stretches. That, that's not really a stretch, that's more of a dance, but we'll do our little stretches and uh, yeah, see how we go. Now, don't want to be flashing anyone, so let's have a little look, check that I'm all okay. I'm in yellow today, because yellow is a positive colour, I reckon. <laughs> anyway, um, let me come a tiny bit closer to you. I'm currently on a rock, and I do hope that, uh, acoustically speaking, this is uh, okay for you guys. You'll have to bear with me whilst I settle in and make this place a little bit more... Uh, I'm not sure it needs soundproofing, but it's quite a large space. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I am so excited that you've decided to join me. How have you been? Uh, well, it is so good that you're here. I'm so happy to see your little face. I am. I'm very, very happy. Mm -hmm. um, I have been, well, but stressed. Very stressed. Because for the past few weeks, I uh, very excitingly have been moving and, uh, yeah, trying to get everything sort of uh, ready and coming together, whilst also trying to run a business and still make content. So I've had a lot going on, but uh, I have found it fun yet stressful. Yes. So lots of stretching is needed. So as we always start with these videos, maybe you haven't joined me for one before. That's okay. But if you haven't, find yourself a nice comfortable rug or a yoga mat or something comfy. And I typically like to sit in uh, this sort of uh, position, which is like a cross-legged sort of vibe. Um, you normally can't see the bottom half of me. Um, lucky you. It's, it's not great. Um, but anyway, <laughs> find yourself in a nice, comfortable, seated position. And this is where we can really just start to feel nice and grounded and comfortable. So, as I said, I am sitting cross-legged. I'm going to try and, uh, Double check, we're all okay, we're all okay, yes. So I'm going to come back a little bit. Um, yes, that, that will do. Um, but yes, find yourself nice and comfortable. Um, and find yourself in a nice, relaxing, comfortable space as well. Um, I'm currently in my living room, uh, or lounge, or reception room. But you may be in your bedroom, or perhaps you're taking a break in the office and you've snuck into a broom cupboard. You know, that's okay. Wherever you need to take a break and you can sit down and relax, that is going to be perfect. And I have chosen to put on some little candles. These are my little new lanterns. What do you think? 
they're not real candles because if they were real candles then I, uh, I, I could not be trusted like they are a little fake candles <laughs> and I think they're quite cute um, so get yourself nice and comfy if you need to be accompanied by some water or wine or coffee then please indulge yourself uh, I have had some water and I've had some tea so I'm all hydrated and feeling nice now let's start with our little first stretches so I'm actually just gonna sort of I guess you'd call this maybe I'm just going to call it stretching your arms. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a fancy name, but we can't. So I'm going to call it stretching your arms. And I'm literally just taking my arms and sort of crossing them in front of each other. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. And you can really feel this stretch in your back. So you can feel it in your back and your shoulders. Don't overextend. But just do it like that. Mm. Just do it until it feels all right. I think that's enough for me. <laughs> I have been doing lots of lifting to get various bits of uh, furniture sort of moved around the place. And um, I think I have uh, strained my back, so I need lots of extra stretches. Now, before we get on to our next stretch, I want to check in with you and you've told me how you are, but tell me how your day has been. What's been going on? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, goodness, it sounds like you've had quite the day. It does. My day has been filled with work. Nothing particularly eventful, I have to say. But filled with work, and now it's time to de-stress and unwind. So, what we're going to do is focus still on the arms. We're going to take one of our arms across, and this is a really great stretch for here. You can feel this, so you can bring your other arm to sort of cradle this arm. Don't worry if you aren't able to do any of these at all. And don't do them if you feel like you're overextending or hurting yourself. Just make sure it's nice and comfortable. You will feel a bit of a sort of, sort of tenseness, I suppose, depending on how uh, relaxed or stressed you are, I guess. We can do the same with the other side. But this is really good, as I say, just to stretch this part of you. Lovely, 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 lovely. We can do that again if you like. Why not? Once is good, but twice is better. Mm. Just take a moment to really just settle down, ground yourself into the mat and where you are. Um, as I said, you could be on a rug, you could be on a duvet, you could be on a blanket, wherever you are, just as long as it's nice and comfortable for you and you're not having to sort of sit on a hard floor. And if you are, just pick. Now, as I said, I'm in somewhere new, and as a custom to these more chatty videos, I would love to share with you, sort of, uh, yeah, a little bit more about where I am. Very exciting. So, um, I have bought my first home very exciting times. Now, 
I remember mentioning this to someone who lives in the US and they were a little bit confused because they thought, well, we buy homes quite young here. There's not really an issue or anything. But when you're in the UK and especially in the South of England, uh, where the property prices are very, very high, it's very annoying. <laughs> um, unfortunately, you have to earn quite a lot or have a very large deposit to be able to afford a place. Uh, now I've been saving for many, many years and I've paid rent for many, many years <laughs> and I've tried to put away as much as I can. And I came across this place and I have to say, I sort of fell in love with it. It's very, very lovely. It has a good amount of space. I'm really going to enjoy being here. And one of my most favourite things is that you can properly tell. It's pretty quiet, which is very nice. Very nice. It has all of the noises of a sort of regular place, but it is much quieter than where I've been. So that is I've had many uh, <laughs> trials and tribulations over the past few weeks, or even months really, whilst I've got things sorted. Uh, one being these two sofas. Now, because of the size of the room, I fancy getting two sofas. And because of the size of the doors, it's hard to get a big L-shaped sofa. So I went for two sofas, I found a sofa, um, where did I find it? Oh, the original sofa didn't fit <laughs> upon ordering it, I had to cancel that. The second lot of sofas uh, got damaged in transit. And this is the third lot of sofas, and one of them has a broken leg, <laughs> which will get repaired soon, I hope. Anyway, very interesting times. And on that note, I think it's time for another stretch. Yes. And sit up nice and straight. And you can feel the centre of your back just stretching out in your spine. Really, really nicely. Yeah, it feels nice. It feels nice. Mm. One thing I will try and do is I will try and give you a little tour, but I need to sort some things out first. But anyway, focus on stretching. Now the thing we want to focus on is our breathing. It's making sure we're breathing in and out. Really centering ourselves and just trying to focus on this moment. It's so easy, isn't it, to have really bad posture. I'm one uh, who's definitely always leaning over a laptop, so uh, I find that I really have to stretch myself out. I'm also a little bit lopsided, so I'm a little bit like that, <laughs> or like that. So I find I have to sort of, yeah, adjust, adjust myself. But anyway, how does that stretch feel? Yeah, perfect. That's really good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up onto uh, my knees. Hear the slight creak in my knees. Check that we're all right here. I think we are. And what we're going to do is we're literally just going to sort of just lean, just lean. Now you may not think, so this isn't doing a lot, and you can pop your hand sort of down on the floor. But what this is doing is just giving us a nice gentle stretch from our hips and our spine. So we can just lean over, and you can do this if you want standing as well. Just give me a nice little lean, you can feel that right at the bottom of your 
your spine. Try and lean sideways rather than sort of forwards. You can support your back and your stomach whilst you do this. And it just feels really nice stretch to do. Mm. <sighs> well, I don't know about you, but I'm personally feeling more relaxed already. I'm so glad that we've been able to do this. Yeah, I really am. I want to make this more of a regular thing. And another thing that I'm potentially thinking about, and I'd love to get your personal thoughts on this, is I would love to know if you think maybe another channel would be a good idea for me. I would really uh, love to focus on personal videos and talking style videos and also some crafty things because I do like craft so maybe some pottery and bits and bobs like that and even uh, I don't know I don't know maybe some upcycling and stuff like that simple things let me know your thoughts please 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 now Whilst we're in this nice sort of seated position, what we can also do is we can do a bit of a rock side to side. So I'm sort of just moving my legs like so. And again, this is really good for your hips. Sometimes when we feel stressed, a lot of our tension goes to our pelvis. So we want to make sure that it's all nice and loose. So we can do that. What we can also do is we can sit again sort of cross-legged and what we can do is we can push out on our sort of knees so that we're drawing them towards the floor now this can be a little bit more uncomfortable it can make us <laughs> sort of feel a little bit more strained um, especially around um, the sort of uh, leg muscles we can feel more of a strain just gently give a little push towards the floor. I think that feels really nice. Just lets everything sort of moving and grooving. That's what we want, moving and grooving. Lovely. How does that feel? Good. Good. Now, back to you. And obviously I've waffled on about myself. You've let me know how you are and how your day is. Um, I want you to let me know if anything's on your mind, anything's bothering you. Let it all out right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes things can just get a bit much in your brain, can't they? They really can. I think that you're doing a great job. You are. Sometimes... To be honest with you, just making sure that you're washed, fed, you're doing your work, you're doing all your basic stuff, is enough to deal with. And I think you're doing a really, really good job. No, you are. You are. So that's why it's really important in these moments that you just take some time for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you are... You are unique, there's not another you, even if you are part of an identical sort of twin set. <laughs> your mind is still yours. So, you've got to look after number one, you've got to look after yourself, and make sure that you're also doing little things that make you super happy. So, for me, <laughs> that 
that may involve cake. We have spoken about this before. But, nice cup of tea, a little bit of cake, perhaps a biscuit, if we're feeling fancy, and doing little nice things for yourself. So maybe taking yourself to your favourite lunch spot, or going for a walk in your favourite place, or catching up with a friend that you haven't seen in a while, or spending time with your family, or your pet, whatever makes you happy. Make sure every single day that you're scheduling something for you, something for yourself, because that is the most important thing. And what we have to remember is that when we When our life is nearing one's end, we have to remember that we want to look back and think about happy times, and actually, we don't want to think about work and things that make us stressed. So that's why it's important to try and pack in as much of the good stuff as you can. And I know sometimes that is far easier said than done. But, but, that's okay, that's okay, because you're making the effort for yourself right now, and even moments like this is a little bit of self-care, a little bit of self-love, and while sometimes that can be a bit of a, a cringy thought to indulge yourself like that, it's really, really important, and I know that for me, I can find my working ridiculous hours and I won't really take time to do a lot of things for myself um, so how about we make a deal we both make more time just for us to do the little things that make us happy sound good? ok, okay. Good. Good. now what I want to do is I want to stretch out our lovely legs so you can do this from a seated position again, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one leg out to the side. Now ideally you want this to be at a nice sort of uh, 90 degree angle. <laughs> That's got my angles right. A 90 degree angle from the rest of your body. And you can really feel this stretch, particularly on the inside of your leg. So you can feel this all the way along. I feel it particularly in my upper leg. So you don't want to do this sort of overstraining yourself. You can lean over to the leg towards the foot as well if you like. I'm not going to, but I'm just going to focus on stretching the leg and trying to keep it as close to the ground as possible as well. So just making sure that sort of your um, base of your foot <laughs> is on the ground. Your knee is as close to the ground as you can. You're just getting And when you feel that's enough, you can move on to the other side. So we'll do the other side. And this is a really lovely stretch because it sort of grounds us again. And really helps us to just stretch out those tired leg muscles. And I've mentioned this to you. I have uh, rather short legs. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, it's good to stretch them out to sort of uh, imagine what they'd be like if they were longer. So <laughs> have a nice little stretch. Nice little stretchy stretch. I think that feels rather nice. Hmm. And when you're ready, you can again bring them back to your nice seated position. Oh, lovely. Don't worry, that was just the ground rather than my bones. <sighs> well, as always, it's so lovely spending time with you. It really is. It's so, so nice. And I'm so happy that I've been able to introduce you officially to 
this new space, which I hope will uh, come together in again. Fingers crossed. Um, you may be able to see. No, I don't think you can. I have all my artwork um, up on the walls. And, uh, well, not my personal artwork, but all oh, my important. And um, it looks rather nice. So I will have to show you at some point. But for now, from what you can see, you can probably spy that lovely little plant right about there. And that is a lovely uh, fig plant. So that is Mr. Figgy. I have to name all my plants. So that's Mr. Figgy. And um, I rescued him because he was... Um, but he'd been reduced because uh, he had some bird excrement on him <laughs> and I thought that was very unfair because he just needed a bit of a wash so I've given him, given him some love brought him back to life I reckon he's looking alright he's looking okay yeah yeah um, and then over there we have a light that's like a tripod yeah things about that and my nice fluffy cushions on my couch because it wouldn't be a home of Lucy if we didn't have some nice fluffy cushions. Very cute. Very cute indeed. Ah, well, I hope you're feeling a bit more stretched out. We can't forget our hands and feet though. So what I want to do is I want to first stretch out these fingers. So you can do some nice stretches like this together. Stretchy, 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 yeah. Get those fingers all nice and flexed. Um, my hands um, are double jointed, so my fingers are extra flexible. Um, so sometimes I do get pain in my hands. So we're just going to make sure it's all nice and stretched out. Feeling all nice and lovely. Yeah, feels good. And we can do the same with our lovely little toes. I was going to say piggies then. Lovely little piggies. <laughs> we can stretch out our toes. So, we make it a nice little wiggly wiggly to our toes. Which I think will feel very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So, wiggle those toes. Wiggle those toes, get them all nicely stretched out, stretched out, and just let all your worries and all your stresses just melt away as you wriggle those tootsies. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the rhyme, actually, where it's like these these little piggies went to market, and then it's like, and this little piggy ran home. And it's to do with toes. And I can't think of the rhyme. Hmm. I will have to, uh, <laughs> have to investigate at some point. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. <sighs> I have to say, today especially has been in need of a stretch. I sense that with you as well. That's okay. That's okay. Some days you just need to stretch it out. Just need to stretch it out. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I hope you don't mind if from time to time my schedule um, changes due to my workload. But I'll always make sure that I make a point of, uh, you know, trying to give you as much content as I can because I still love making videos. It's very interesting getting settled into somewhere new, learning about all the new noises around you. But I'm glad we've been able to discover this new little space today. 
think it's been very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, how are you feeling after all that stretching? I need to know. Tell me all. Yeah? It really, really does. Because the most important thing is that you feel nice and relaxed and calm and at ease. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Now, I can sense that you're feeling lovely and relaxed and it's been so good to catch up with you and I can't wait to do this again. But for now, I feel like you need to just zone out and now you're in this nice space. Yeah? Perfect. Well, I will leave you be. I will. I'll, I'll scoot off. But thank you again for coming to say hello, having a little catch up and a stretch, and I can't wait to see you again soon. So, I'll leave you be. You stay there and relaxed and I'll see you again 